you live off human flesh, you exist. Creatures who drink blood and can become wolves are legal. Do you hear me? I'm gonna tell you a secret. I'm one of those creatures. And I eat little boys like you for dinner. And on a full moon, I become a wolf. Do you know what a werewolf is? Do you know what a vampire is? Stop this! You're scaring the boy to death! It's okay. Kids like to be scared. <sighs> And drink your blood. I'm a creature of the night. Sometimes you're a total asshole. And I'll come into your house and kill you and the whole family. I'm a vampire. <laughs> I'm a vampire. Stop it. Don't kill me. <laughs> Be back tonight. <laughs> Mildred, I'm gonna lay down and take a nap. Wake me up in time for lunch. <laughs> Little pussy. Girlfriend's coming to watch us rehearse. <laughs> it's tough being the bad boy. <laughs> An up and coming rock star's job is never done. Oh, uh, now, Paul, fix that sound on the new song. We do. Yeah, I disagree. Hey, fuck it up, bud. Hey, the next guy that goes with me is Teddy. You gonna be ready for the concert? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's do it.
got stopped. Oh, come on, officer. All we're doing is rehearsing our tunes. This is the third complaint this week. One more time and you're busted. But, officer, we're a band. We need to rehearse. Not in this neighborhood, you know. This is your last warning. Dude's like, what are we gonna do? I mean, we're never gonna be ready for the concert. We're gonna have to find another place. Where? I don't know. How about your house? What a fab idea. My mother would never go for it. Dudes, we can rehearse in my van. This is serious. What are we gonna do? Guys, I have an idea. All right, Paul, is everybody here? I think so. Uh... I thought just the band was going, though. The band, Tim, and a couple of hot babes. Don't worry about it. I'm not, Charlie. I mean, I just want this to be a fabulous, groovy weekend. Paul, people don't say groovy anymore, man. Tim, do you know what you're doing? Uncle Gary, it's been over ten years. My friends and I need a place to relax and practice where we can make as much noise as possible. Hey, Grandma would have loved the idea. I wonder what your grandmother would have thought if she knew that you were turning the farm she left you into a home for wayward rock stars. <laughs> My favorite group's the Partridge family. Shut up, Dirk. Oh, sorry, Mr. Armstrong. Hey, Sammy, man, you sure you feel the finest place? Dude, don't even worry about it. Connie and I are like gnarly. You feeling all right? Any nightmares lately? I'm fine. Dirk, wait for me in the limo. The limo. Help me. The long black car we came in, remember? Yes, I'm sorry, the limo. Right away, sir. I wanted to talk to you alone. Go ahead. Jim, you're my only living relative, and I, I kind of feel responsible for you. Yeah, I know. What's your point? Well, if for any reason, how do I say this? If for any reason you don't feel well. I'm fine. Come on, Jim, we gotta go. Uncle Gary, I've gotta go. Thanks for letting us use your motorhome. Yeah, really, thanks a lot. It was really nice of you. We'll see you in a couple days. Jim, are you sure you're up to this? That was a long time ago. If there are any problems, there's Ranger Baxter. He'll take care of you. Yeah, don't worry. See ya. Why does your uncle always worry so much? He means well. I can't. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay, Sammy, you drive. Boom, we are Just like the Beatles used to. We don't have to wear wigs. Not. The band needs a gimmick. Why? So we can get attention. Why don't we just try playing good music? Am I the only one with imagination in this band? Of course not. You forget, my friend. I'm the one who came up with the band's name. The Bad Boys. Yeah, sounds like a gay porno movie. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Excuse me, guys, but uh, who is the blonde with John? <laughs> you should know your girlfriend invited her. Sally did? Yeah, she's supposed to come along, I don't know, help cook or something. <laughs> she cooks? If you ask me, she's just a groupie. Well, no one asked. Hey, if Sally invited her, she must be okay. I think she's trying to get your attention, John. Is your drumstick. ever tell you that you have uh, fabulous eyes? Mm, you're the first. Oh, well. <laughs> your glasses. I have no glasses. <laughs> no, I, I, I wear those for effect. I'm basically making a fashion statement. <laughs> I love working. Oh, well, thank you. I, you mm, I was going to say, uh, Paul Schaefer was my idol. If you would, if you would listen, I... So, do you really think I'm pretty enough to be an actress? Yeah, I do. You know, I'm more than a, just a band sound mixer, you know. She's a groupie. I know. And she's trying to get you interested in her by flirting with us. I know. So what are you going to do about the tease? Nothing. What can you pay any attention to? Why? I'm gonna make her beg for it. Wow. You are so hip. But as for now, I'm gonna get some sleep. Good. yourself. <laughs> Sorry. She's just so cute. You promised to behave if I invited you on the trip. I know, I know. You're right. Throwing yourself at Charlie won't work. Enough said. Grandpa! <laughs> don't, don't kill me! 
You're all okay? You're all dead. You're all undead. You're all trying to kill me. But calm down, it's over now, honey. Oh, it seems so real. Shh, go back to sleep. We're almost there. Hey, you guys, I have to tell you all something, but I wanted to wait until Jim was asleep. What is it? This house has some bad memories for Jim, so if we could all be extra careful about Jim's feelings when we get to the house. This place isn't haunted, is it? No, of course not. Good. Over 15 years ago, someone was murdered there. Stop, you're scaring me. I'm not trying to. But let's make the next few days as fun as possible so Jim won't have any bad memories, okay? Sure, <laughs> no problem. Sure. And oh yeah, I never told you any of this, okay? <laughs> any of what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, good morning. Everybody have a good night's sleep? I got the bathroom first. Don't cut the cheese. Did anyone bring toothpaste? Did anyone bring deodorant? Somebody wake up Paul. I think I'm constipated. Where the hell are we? Hey, we're here. Where's the house? How should I know? Maybe the house is invisible, like Wonder Woman's airplane. This is as far as the motorhome can go. We've got to hike the rest. Okay, everybody grab something. Let's head to the house. Come on, everybody, let's move. I'll lead the way. Does this place, like, have a television set? <laughs> sure, man. How far is this place? Yeah. Never like how? Stop complaining. Paul? Did anybody wake up, Paul? Somebody help me. Tim, help Tina. Why doesn't Jim slow up? Are we almost there yet? My feet hurt. Come on, keep up! We're coming. When do we eat? Feet are Just a little me. bit farther. Hey, guys. Guys? Come on, come on, let's go! It's getting dark, when are we gonna get there? Oh, look, a bird. Great. Hey, get out. Chill, okay?
Granger Baxter. Yeah, this is Gary Armstrong. Yeah, the Armstrong house. Yeah, fine, thanks. Listen, you can do me a big favor. My nephew Jimmy is going to be spending the weekend up at the house. Yes, it's the first time since that terrible accident. Well, just between you and me, uh, I'm a little worried about him. He's been acting strange lately. I was wondering if you could look in on him this weekend. Oh, no, I didn't know. Well, you have a nice time at your sister's wedding. I mean, what could happen to them anyway? You'll be back on Monday. I'm just being overly protective, I guess. You have a nice time. Thank you. They're up there all along. The house. I can never catch up with you guys. Wow. This structure is fab. God. It's just the way I remember it. The way I dreamed about it. Jim, your grandmother must have been a great lady to leave you this. Jim? Jim, are you okay? You okay, buddy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm great. Jim, you okay? Yeah, hey, let's uh, go show everybody their rooms. Guess I'm the host for the next four days. Hey, everybody. Band rehearsal in the next two hours. The house is clean and the power's on. Yeah, let's go. I'm hungry, Sam. Let's check out the fridge. Look. Well, love Perrier. But Tim, do you really think I had the makings of a great actress? Tina, I think that with the right person behind you, you could become the next Meryl Streep. Well, who's she? Vanna White. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, hey, I know a lot about the entertainment business. Well, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. How well do you know, Charlie? Wrong out of right. Deceiving hearts of many with the sound of lions war. And trusting in not any and waging a war. It's not a secret, you're gonna reap it. The seed's been planted, and in time it's gonna tell on you. It's gonna tell. From its evil bites Cuts into you deep Where the life waters flow And it fights to hold you back It never wants to let you go You try to hide it But you can't deny it The seed's been planted And in time it's gonna tell you It's gonna tell
any for your thoughts. You know, when Sally asked me to come up this week for a few days, I almost died. Really? Well, I've seen the band play at every concert, and um, I think you're the best. What do you want from me? Really, what do you want from me? Well, nothing. I just want to get to know you, to be your friend. So, a long ride up here. Real long. Well, um, Sally, she's a great girl. Yeah. I remember reading about the murder up here. Did you ever meet Jim's grandfather? Excuse me. Wait, don't go. I mean, I know, I must sound like some crazy groupie. You got that right. Penny for your thoughts? <laughs> so, uh, if and when your songs are being played on the radio? Yes, my dear. And uh, you and the band perform on that national television show? <laughs> yes, my dear. And you all become big stars and sex symbols like David Lee Roth and Mick Jagger? <laughs> yes, my dear. And are you going to forget about me? Yes, my dear. What? Sally, I'll never leave you. Really? Yeah, here. This is for you. I really worked hard on this. I hope you like it. When we talk late at night Feel so close to you Misunderstanding Nothing clouds on you There's no need for questions Because I know that your heart is right Hello? Hello? Who is this? I don't understand. Grandpa? A full moon? No, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Jim, are you okay? What's going on? That was my grandpa. What are you saying? Your grandpa's dead. Yeah, I know. Jim, look, being here's affecting you. Uh, that was probably some kind of sick joke or something. Listen to me, you're no, okay. No, no, hey, I'm okay. Really, I'm fine. I'm just gonna go, uh, go take a walk now. Okay, let me come with you. No, it'll be okay. I just need to clear my head, get some air, you know? All right, but promise me you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine.
said, tell me about Charlie. Would you forget about Charlie, please? <sighs> but you promised. I will tell you about Charlie later. Oh, I'm so horny. Right? Look, just kiss it, okay? All the girls in California do. No, no, I said. Please, honey. No. All right then. If you don't want to kiss it, how about this? That's very good. <laughs> it's big. I know. Oh, can I just start slow? Okay. Oh, that's great. Oh. Oh, that feels good. Oh, yes, very good. All right, now, look fast. Fast, no, fast. Oh, my God. Oh, fast. Fast. God, that feels good, Daddy. Please, don't stop. What? No, I... My name is Tina. What are you doing? Don't stop. You don't even know my name. I know your name. It's, it, it's, I remember your name. It's Terry. My name is Tina. Tina, look, look, you can't believe you're gonna leave me like this. Come on, at least finish where you started. Stop, Dad. God damn it, come back here. Tina! I thought my was a little head. Ah! Are you okay? Yeah. I just thought I heard Tim scream. Yeah, me too. Let's find him. What happened? I... I don't know. Tina, you tell him. We were messing around and I got mad and left. I don't know. He was drinking and he must have fell into the blade. Paul, take Tina and the girls back to the house. Sammy, call the police or the ranger. Whoever, whoever you call to report an accident. Accident? Wait, this is no accident. Tim was murdered. What? A wolf did it. Wolf, are you nuts? That is not funny, dude. Oh, what? What did he say? Come on, Jim, let's go back to the house. Don't no, listen to me. I know it sounds nuts, and you think I'm a jerk for saying this. It's very hard to understand this, but I know all about this stuff. My grandfather was a... He was a very evil man, and he killed Tim. Jim, calm down. No, can you listen to me? We're all in danger! We're all in danger! I think Jim is losing it. Listen, every full move... Jim, stop it! Wolf. Stop it! Buddy, it's me, Charlie. I mean, you want your friends, okay? Charlie, you gotta believe me. I do believe you. <laughs> I do. Sally, take Jim back to the house. Get him a drink. I'll be there in a moment. Charlie! I can explain everything. You know about what happened here. It was true. I know. I know. Come on. Some 
Somebody get some sheets. Look around for his head. It's not your fault. It was an accident. I know. I just wish I wouldn't have let him drink so much. Uh, Tina, is there anything I can get you? A drink would be okay. Sure. It's not working. Well, it was working before. Try jiggling it. Just because I used to be a mud wrestler doesn't mean I'm stupid. I know that, Connie. I know you're not stupid. You're just hard-headed. And what does that mean? Nothing. Just give me the fucking phone. I will get it to work. For all I care, you can sleep with the fucking phone. Because you're not with me. It's your loss. They're all alike. Any luck, Sam? I don't know. Maybe if I get her drunk enough. Not with her, with the phone. Oh, no, it's, it's broken. Shit. You see? Jimmy, you still freaking out? No, I'm okay. I just know what's Stop, happening Jim. here. Stop, Jim. Don't say no, anything. No, I more. have to. Hey, is everybody okay? <laughs> yeah, right. No, everyone is not okay. Kim, don't. This is not the time. Wait, just hear me out. Hey, tomorrow, okay, dude? No, tomorrow it'll be too late. Hey, you guys, listen to <sighs> him. You guys, you just hear what Jim has to say. Thank you, Charlie. On one condition. Man, you're exhausted. After we hear you out, you and Sally go to bed. Fine. I'll state my piece and let you decide. At least I feel better knowing I warned you. What time is it? About 12 o'clock. Okay. For the next six or seven hours, we should all stay inside. But why? Because Tim's death wasn't an accident. A wolf did it. A werewolf. No. <laughs> For sure. Don't start that again. Hey, come on, gang. Just hear him out. Tonight is a full moon. I went out to the barn before Tim was killed, and in the bushes, I saw it. What did you see? It was a big wolf, but it stood on two legs. I was about 100 feet from it when it spotted me and ran. Wait a minute, man. How could you see anything at night a hundred feet away, in the dark, and why'd it run away from you? It's crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but the creature is real. It killed Tim. I knew he was going to die, and I know we're all in danger. How do you know that? A little while ago, I got a phone call, didn't I, Sally? And it was my grandfather. He is the creature. Is your grandfather dead? Yes. But... It's very hard to kill a vampire. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Stop it. No one will believe me. Johnny, you tell him. Sally, we take him to his room. Charlie, you're my best friend. You gotta believe me. Hey, prove me wrong. Sure. Get help before it strikes again. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What are we gonna do about this? Wow. Jim's like having a nervous breakdown. I know. Like, nobody believes in vampires and werewolves anymore. No. I mean, like, if he just said a, a guy in a hockey mask killed him, I'd have been scared. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little boy. He really thought his grandfather was possessed. The courts understood that Jim really didn't kill his grandfather. They ruled it temporary insanity. Jim's been receiving psychiatric help for the last 12 years. I guess coming back to his grandfather's house triggered it again. So I hope, as his friends, that we can keep his secret. And when we get back to the house, I'm gonna get Jim some help. 
Well, dude, when is that? I mean, are we gonna stay here for the whole weekend, even though Tim got killed? Yeah, when are the police gonna get here? I, I don't know. Paul, what did the police say? Uh, the phone's not working. <laughs> Oh, okay, there's there's a CB in the motorhome. Yeah? Well, we'll just use it. And there's a ranger station five miles away. I'm off to the ranger station. No, Tina, wait, you don't look too good. You stay here and rest. Connie and I'll, I'll go. Look, if Tim's getting killed wasn't an accident, then the only one left out there with us was Jim. What are you saying? Well, nothing, just that... I don't think I want to be left here alone with Jim, okay? Tina! Well, for Christ's sake, the guy's running around yelling werewolf. Jim's our and he did kill his girl. Tina! Just chill, you guys, okay? She is such a bitch. Look, Connie and I'll head back to the motorhome and get help. We'll be back in no time. So chill out, you guys, okay? Okay, fine. Are you sure you guys can do this all right? Sure, dude, no problem. Great. Where's my jacket? Over here. What about the ranger station? Uh, could you get my bag? I'll go. Me too. Paul, no way. John, man, it's a long hike. I'll go. Don't worry. John and I will be fine. Besides, you should stay here with Jim and Sally. Let's not let our imaginations get the best of us. Are you sure? No problem. Be careful, okay? I love technical stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, you stay here and, you know, protect the girls, huh? Jim's here too. You sure you don't want me to go? Uh, Charlie, let's be real. Fine, but when you get to the ranger station, call. I can keep you walking talkie and all right? Charlie, can I talk to you for a minute? Excuse me? Nothing to worry about, but keep an eye on Jim, okay? Oh, man, not you too. Hey, he's my best friend too, but who knows what's going on with his mind? I understand. Now listen, be careful out there. Don't throw any holes or anything. Seriously. And the band needs you. And my bro. Hey, don't get mushy on me. What's this for? In case you run any wild people. <laughs> Come on, we're off. All right. Catch you in about an hour. Okay. Listen for us. Don't worry, we will. Careful, guys. Be very careful. Are you sure you know where we're going? I wish you would stop complaining. Connie, you don't really think Jim is crazy, do you? Nah, yeah, Jim isn't nuts. Look, if he says his grandfather's a werewolf, I believe him. You mean like the one in the movies? Mm. Maybe Jim is nuts. told me that he saw a flying saucer once. Really? Yeah. Did he report it to the government? Uh, yeah, but they didn't believe him. Why not? Well, he was sort of on acid at the time. And I'm totally against doing drugs. Oh, me too. Um, wait a minute. Is, is pot a drug? No, no, it, it's an herb. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Let's take a break. 
Babe, after we find the house, I want to do some serious boning. <laughs> and write just what we need. Oh, all right. Oh, wow. Mm, let me have a feel. Not yet. Give me the joint and get naked. Oh, well, you don't have to tell me twice. <coughs> hey, I'm ready. So am I. God, this is so much better than the back of my van. Mm. Boinking by moonlight. You must think I'm a real bitch. No, you're just upset about Tim and everything. No, that's no, forget now. Tim. He's dead. Maybe you are a bitch. Oh, no. I'm just scared. I'm lonely. You don't look too scared. My room's at the top of the stairs. Charlie, Jim's not in his room. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is so meaningful, Connie. <laughs> okay, okay. Like if I'm Marianne, who's Gilligan and the Skipper? <laughs> oh, I mean, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, well, we're not even on a desert island. <laughs> <laughs> so there goes your theory, right? <laughs> okay, okay. So for like, not the castaways on Gilligan's Island, maybe we're like the Robinsons on Lost in Space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stoned. I mean, we should... <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't have smoked so much. It's okay, we're not driving. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> look, look at that over there. <laughs> I can hardly see him so much. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, look at the big dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, he must be lost. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. <laughs> Dude, that dog is like growling at us. <laughs> He's probably hungry. Oh. Here, where's the yeah. candy bar? I, I'm gonna feed it. Oh, 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 here it is. <laughs> hey, but uh, <laughs> be careful, Connie. <laughs> Don't get fleas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, be quiet! Ah, what the? Ah! Oh, this tastes gnarly! Ah! I thought Jim might be in here. Why don't you come in? What's this? It's um, a letter I'm writing to my cousin. You're not writing about Jim's mental problems, are you? No, I'm not writing about Jim thinking that his grandfather's a werewolf. 
The Bad Boys are one of the most original hard rock bands that come along in years. But the real power behind the new band, The Bad Boys, is Charlie Thomas. Charlie Thomas on stage is hotter than Jack and sexier than David Lee Roth. <laughs> but the rest of the band is average. My cousin publishes a rock magazine. Really? But the rest of these guys are my friend. Charlie, can we speak honestly? Go ahead. Well, about six months ago, Sally invited me to come and see the band play. And, well, the band is good, but you are better. I mean, you should be the star. I have friends in the music business, and, and I could... I would do anything for you, Charlie Thomas. And what do you want in return? Nothing. So you're trying to get your cousin to do a story on me. I want to help you, Charlie. Do you? I have money, connections, everything. Let me help you, Charlie. Let's be honestly. What do you want from me? you want from me. I knew what you wanted from me from the very first time you saw me. something out there. I'm not crazy. I know. Listen, Sam, Connie, Paul, and John are all in danger. I love you so much, If Tim. you love me, you've got to believe me. I do. I do. A wolf is out there. I know. <laughs> that was great. That was really great. That was great? What do you mean? That's it? We're finished? It's over? Oh, yeah. God, that was so quick. You, you wanted to get fucked, and I did it. it. Let's talk about my career. Well, that sucked. I mean, that has got to be one of the worst... No, 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 the worst sex I have ever had. You're awful. Tim's the best. That was your best? Thank God I got you at your best. God, what a disappointment. And I've been dreaming about this night for months. I've never had any complaints before when I've had sex. <laughs> it was over so quick, probably nobody had time to complain. <laughs> Stop laughing. No, really, stop laughing. You know, you're probably frigid or something. <laughs> Such a good-looking guy, and what a waste. <laughs> Do you ever think about getting a penis transplant? <laughs> Such a tramp. You probably have no feelings left between your legs anyways. You're probably a lesbian. You know, if all men were as bad and bad as you, I just might be. <laughs> you got a real problem, lady. <laughs> Get out of my room. And forget about my cousin doing a story on you. You're not worth it. You're a real bitch. See you later, Pee-wee. <laughs> wearing ladies' underwear. It's the band's new image. Jim, 
We're not the bad boys anymore. We're the hot chicks. It's Paul's idea. Cut it out, cut it out. But don't you think it's fabulous, hmm? Huh? Breakfast! Thank God we made it through the night. I thought we were all going to be killed. Oh my God. What are you girls doing? Jim, don't be such a deadhead. If the guys can wear our underwear, then we can wear theirs. <laughs> don't be so square, Jim. Sally, I don't believe you. You're wearing my fruit of the loom. No shitting, Sherlock. Sally, are you feeling okay? Great. Never been better. I don't give a damn. Wrong. That's not the way you play the game. I say a line from a movie, and then you say a line for the movie, but it's got to be the same movie. See, you can't mix up Dr. Zhivago and Stand By Me or Gone With the Wind Friday the 13th. That's what this trip reminds me of, bud. Friday the 13th. I wish I'd written the music to that film. What, you call that music? Kill, 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 kill. Kill, kill. <laughs> hey, don't laugh. The guy who wrote that's making a million bucks today. <laughs> Looks empty. Right. Might be abandoned. Why don't you go in there and see if there's a working phone? Why don't you go? What, are you scared? No. Let's just be safe. OK, chicken shit, I'll check the station. There's supposed to be a lake down there. I'm going to go try to find it. Why? Maybe there's some cabins there and we can get some help. <laughs> All right, you're pretty smart, bud. I agree. I'll meet you down there in 10. All right, later. Enterprise. Kirk, Enterprise. 
Spock here, Captain. Yeah, man, beat me up. Oh yeah, great, I can't find the Ranger. John, where is Paul? Oh, he went to the lake to... Who is it? What's wrong? Nothing, man. I thought I saw something move by the door. It was nothing. Hey, what the fuck? Paul? Hey, man. Something's in here. I can hear it. John, get out of there. Get back to the house now. I must be imagining things in my old age. You won't believe what I thought I just saw. Oh shit! Get away from me! Get away from me! Help me! Oh, God! Ah! John! John! Get away from me! It can't be! There is no such thing as vampires in werewolves. It's a hard rock night, man. Ow! We gotta do something! Oh god, Paul is all alone out there. I'm coming, Paul. Connie are probably calling for help right now. Sally, he's got a gun. I knew it was still down there. Where did you find that? My grandpa used to collect old rifles. Jim, what are you doing? I had to see if it still works. Now all I need is silver. Silver? Silver bullets. It's the only thing that'll kill a werewolf. Do you girls have any silver? Look, Sally, take the gun from Jim. A mental case shouldn't be holding a rifle. So you still think I'm crazy? No, of course Don't not. Don't you realize everything I've said is true? Look, we've got to defend ourselves and kill the beast! Jim, calm down, will you? No, listen to me! Ugh. Jim might get violent. No. Remember, he killed his grandfather. Are you talking about me? Look, all I need is silver, and I can kill him! Uh, in my room, I have a silver frame. Would that help? <laughs> yeah, thanks. And Sally, get some tools. We've got to make some silver bullets. Hey, come on. Let's get out of here. What are you talking about? This guy, Jim, he's a mental case. 
and now he's running around with a rifle. He's okay. He's the strain is too much on him. <laughs> Look, Sally, we're getting out of here, okay? I just don't trust him. A wolf did this to you? Man. Wolf man. Don't talk. I'm gonna take you back to the house. You're fine. I tell sorry. <laughs> oh no, man. Why? Why? There's no silver in your room. You lied. Why? Calm down, Jim, and put down the gun. Don't you understand? I have had enough of this. I'm getting out of this nightmare. Jim, Sally, are you coming? Not until I find some silver bullets. Sally? No, you go. I love him. And I have to stay. He needs me. Sally, I have an idea. A place we're going to be safe. Go, but be careful. Don't worry. There's not a man or a wolf that can outsmart me. Need to get out. For a bullet. It's done. Thank God. Now we can go help our friends. Sure. Oh, wait! What? No, do we need crosses and stakes? <laughs> no. Look, Sal, I know you think I'm flipping out. I'm only trying to protect us. I really did see some kind of creature before Tim was killed. I'm hiding in a well from a 
Where? Dead. Who? Everybody's dead. What? Jim was right. Just calm down. Everybody's dead. Don't you understand? This big freaking wolf. Man. It's a man. There's no such thing as we're wolves. Jim, what are you saying? Some animal is killing people, but it's not a wolf. What animal then? A man. Paul's dead. Everybody's dead. I fought with it. It's a big wolf. No, it's not. It's a man who wants us to think he's a wolf. What the hell are you saying? You lost your mind? No, I almost did. But I'm all right now. Look, that is a fur. It's cloth material made to look like fur. Ah, made in Hong Kong. Yeah, he's right. Shit. Give me some lunatic in a wolf suit is, is killing people? Why? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Wait, wait! No, this is between me and him. No, it isn't. Man, that's some mental case. It's walking around killing people. Now, if you don't stick together, we're next. Yeah, you're right. We've gotta keep our heads. You know, I've got a plan.
Go ahead. Make my day. But why would Dirk do this? Look at his hands. Pause. Be careful now. God, they're solid steel, sharp as razor blades. You can probably tear a person apart in seconds. Are you sure he's dead? Yeah. Look at his eyes. Contact. Why would a madman do such a thing? Madman? All right. That's it. Everybody up. Put the gun down. Uncle Gary? Yeah, he's your madman. On the contrary, my plan is the work of genius. Why? Money, you simple twit. Why does anyone do anything? This farm your grandmother left you is nothing. It's the oil underneath it. It's everything. Millions. Shit, Jim, you're rich. Why the wolf? Why'd you have Dirk dress up like a wolf? You nitwit. You are so stupid. I can't believe you're my nephew. All right. Look, the police come, and they find the band and everybody on the farm dead, all cut up in little pieces. And you tell them... <laughs> you tell him that a werewolf did it. You tell him that you even saw the wolf. Well, the police do some investigating, and they find out that when you were a kid that you killed your grandfather. You claimed he was a, a vampire. <laughs> that he called you from the grave. Well, you go to the nut house, and I get the farm, pure and simple. Genius, isn't it? You had all these people killed for your sick plan. For that much money, I'd kill everything. Yeah, we found out your plan. It's not gonna work now. Yeah, well, I'll think of something else. But don't worry, you're gonna have to die anyway. You too, Jim. I'm gonna have to shoot you too now, sorry. Uncle Gary, you can't do this. Well, maybe somebody will accidentally fall asleep smoking a cigarette and burn down the house. <laughs> no, please don't kill me. I'm scared. I, I don't know what to do. Kill them. Kill. I, I won't tell anyone. I promise. Sorry, kid. Got to kill everybody. This is the plan. But I'll shoot you last, okay? No, please. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Now, come on, kid. Get up. Let's go. Woo! Oh! Ah! Fuck you, Uncle Gary. Good work, Charlie. Always sad when all else fails go. We'll get an ambulance. Jim, I'm dying. You'll be okay. I'll be back! No, I have to. I'll be back for you! <laughs> If I come back from hell stuff, did you? No, of course not. I don't believe in vampires, werewolves, or ghosts.